it's just a blessing from God. Like I, I, I've worked my whole life to reach this goal and to achieve it, it's just, it, it feels amazing. You gotta pinch yourself sometimes. I went out to a camp there my freshman year. So that's really when I started to like build a relationship with the coaches. Coach Boyle is just a great, he's a great coach and he's a great guy. Um, he's all about the right things. So, I mean, I just felt comfortable committing to him and I figured, you know, we just finished our high school season and AU starting up. So, I mean, it's kind of an off, not off season, but like just a down period. So I figured I, I could get it out of the way right now. Their program is getting 20 wins like consistently. Uh, Boulder's a great place to be. I mean, it's just a great spot. It's a great conference. You know, you see the, the damage they're doing in the NCAA tournament right now. It's kind of crazy. So um, I've always wanted to play in the Pac-12. Like, I, I, I know I told Coach Kraft, like, when I was in, like, sixth grade, like, I told him I wanted to play, play in the Pac-12. I coached him in fourth grade, and so we've been doing this for a long time. On the fifth and sixth grade team, we need more kids to come up and play. Uh, and it's, it's been a, a quick journey, but it's been, it's been fun all the way through. You know, it's crazy. I think the last time this happened was 2007, and ironically to the same spot in Colorado with uh, default from Kildare in the uh, same color uniforms, actually. But uh, and I think before that, it might have been 99 with my brother Travis. So, I mean, in the last 21 years, 22 years, this is the third time it's ever happened. Uh, and you put that in perspective, uh, it's, it's crazy, especially coming from Ransom County and Enderlin. And so it's just, uh, it's good for us, it's good for Class B, it's good for North Dakota, obviously their family, uh, Joe specifically, but uh, you know, it's something that doesn't happen very often and everybody's just appreciate it. You know, the good thing for him, and now he's got that off his shoulders, right? He doesn't have to, you know, now he doesn't have to respond to coaches or answer calls. And so the only thing he's going to be working on now is obviously playing AU this summer and then lifting and getting better, you know, and the same thing with everybody else. You know, he did a really good job this year of keeping it uh, distraction free inside the locker room. You would never have known, you know, he's getting recruited by major colleges when he came into our locker room because we were just focused on winning. And obviously we got to improve and get better for next year and give it another ride uh, and try to get where we need to go. But, uh, you know, credit to him for just keeping that separate and now it's obviously not even going to be on his mind anymore because he made the decision and he's happy with what's going on. So, uh, you know, I'm happy for him.